We're creating the, the video for our artists this month because some of them weren't able to be here for setup day. This display has the works of Laurie O'Reilly. She is a figurative artist whose work has the ability to speak to time and place in a unique manner. To this end, she works towards telling the story of children, teens and young adults in their here and now as they grow in the 21st century societies. Her paintings include present day artifacts, usually in the form of earrings, trinkets and decorations. And they are painted in acrylic in large, loose, fast strokes to reflect the material's intensity and the speed of her present day life. The works of Laurie O'Reilly. This display has the works of Peter Riddell, a professional photographer who makes use of existing elements, borrowing materials from nature to build new structures and reimagining possible purposes for and arrangements of these materials. His ability to transform the everyday into the spectacular is matched in impressiveness only by his ability to delicately balance intricate and substantial pieces into a solid, reliable foundation. Peter Riddell. Uh, the next display is Ray Ferris's work. Ray um, uses mathematics as his palette. He takes the computer screen and he works from a series of formulae, filter, transformations, always with an eye to his current inspiration and basic elements of colour and composition. The final rendering is done on a high-speed computer, the, the printing on the state-of-an-art uh, wide bed printer, and thus this is the work of Ray Ferris. Uh, my name is Bogdan Wendiak. I am a painter and photographer, and at uh, present time I am showing my work, my photography work, with the community film festival. And uh, the series which I present is actually homeless, uh, people which uh, are real people which I stood on the Queen Street and Jarvis. So I asked them to, to pose for me and after all I compose in the different sceneries so as you will see later on if you will see my work, uh, it's actually the real work of the people who homeless people and um, the way I'm doing this just because uh, I feel that uh, someone have to represent him also and uh, the problem is a social problem which we try to actually avoid we cannot really hide it because this is around us it's affect us and it's sooner or later we have to pay attention to that